how I created this look, just keep watching. First, I'm starting by using Too Faced Hangover Face Primer, and this primer acts as a moisturizer and a primer. And the brow pencil I'm using today is Benefit uh, Precisely Brow, my brow pencil. And I'm just taking a spoolie and just brushing up my uh, eyebrows. And I like to start by, by drawing a line at the bottom of my eyebrows and then at the top and then lightly fill in my eyebrow area. And to clean up my eyebrows, I'm using my foundation, the NARS uh, Long Radiant uh, Foundation in Macau. And I'm just using my finger just to blend everything in. And to set my eyebrows, I'm using uh, ABH Brow Gel. And this basically just keeps my eyebrow hair into place. And for primer, I'm using MAC Paint to Leave Paint Pot, just to give my eyeshadow a base to stick to. And I'm just using a setting powder just to set the primer into place. I'm using Perception, which is the Makeup Shayla Times ColourPop. The first color I'm using for my transitional shade is called Culture. And this is a light brown, uh, medium brown matte eyeshadow. And to deepen up my crease area, I'm using Revenge, which is a rusted reddish brown eyeshadow. And again, this eyeshadow is called Revenge. One thing I do like about this eyeshadow, the, pigment, the pigmentation is a great payoff for the eyeshadows. And I'm just taking my time blending out any harsh lines so I can have a clean transition. And to deepen up the outer corner area, I'm using Played Out, which is a dark matte uh, eyeshadow. And I just start from the outer corner and sweep halfway in. And for my cut crease, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And I'm slightly just want to create a light cut crease, not more of a harsh line. I just want a slightly cut crease area. More of a soft uh, cut crease. And to clean up any harsh lines from that cut crease area, I'm using the shade called Thick, which is an orange matte eyeshadow. And I'm just going in between played out and that cut crease area. And in between Thick and Played Out, I'm using Revenge in between those two eyeshadow colors. Kind of soften up the color. I want to start from the orange, work my way out to like a rusted reddish brown color, and then the dark brown color. 
but will be on the outside of my uh, eye. And I'm just going back just in case I uh, removed any of that played out dark brown just to darken up the outer corner area only. And I'm just repeating the same steps. Thick just to remove any harsh line from that cut crease area. And revenge in between those two eyeshadows. And I'm just replying played out on the outer corner area. And for the inner corner eye, I'm using Spill the Tea, which is a rosy gold eyeshadow. And for the inner uh, middle eye area, I'm using Strut and Slay, which is another deeper rose eyeshadow. But to give me more of a metallic full eyeshadow, I use the MAC Fix Plus Spray to give me more of a metallic uh, eyeshadow payoff. And I'm just going back in with the same blending brush just to clean up any harsh lines because I am going for more of a soft cut crease uh, look. And for the inner corner eye area, I'm using Unbothered, which is a metallic uh, iridescent gold eyeshadow. And for primer, I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish, and I like to apply it underneath my eye area and around my mouth area for any creasing. From smell lines and also have uh, fine lines underneath my eye area. And for primer, I'm using Becca Forever Matte Poreless Primer, and I just like to take that around my nose area because for some reason throughout the day, I get the most oily payoff around my nose area. And to seal any dark circle, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector. And I'm just taking a Beauty Blender just to blend it out that orange uh, concealer. This is really good if you have dark circles, if you have a blemish, it really helps conceal those uh, areas. For foundation, I use NARS. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Macau. This is one of my top five foundation other than the Fendi Beauty uh, 420 foundation. And I'm just bringing the foundation down to my neck so everything is uh, has the same color. For foundation, I'm using two of MAC concealers, which is the Pro Longwear NC42. And the other one is the Pro Longwear Concealer NC45. And I'm just mixing the two.
I'm using Ben Nye Banana Powder, which is a yellow tone um, setting powder. And this is an oldie, but a definitely a goodie. I do like to prefer setting my uh, underneath my eye area, around my nose area, any area that I conceal with a yellow tone uh, setting powder. And I'm just using the MAC Loose Face Powder in Dark Deep just to brush lightly brush overneath uh, my contour area and all over my face. For bronzer, I'm using Laura Mercier Count of Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in number six. And I'm using the same bronz bronzer to contour my nose area. And I'm just repeating the same step that I use in my crease area, starting out with the first color, I think it's called Culture, then Thick, and to deepen up my lower lash line area, I'm using play dial. And I'm bringing it all the way up to my eye area, extending it, and taking a blending brush just to clean up any harsh lines to give me more of a natural winged out uh, eyeshadow makeup look. And for um, pencil, I'm using Tarte Tardius Black Pencil. And for mascara, I'm just using MAC Extended Play Mascara. And I'm just lightly brushing over my baby lashes. And I'm using Wispy Lashes today. For a blush, I'm using MAC Melba Blush, which is a light pink uh, blush shade. And this is also a matte finish. <music> using both Shayla Times Colourpop highlighter. The first color I'm using is called Pose, which is a loose powder highlighter. If you're my skin tone or darker, this is a beautiful copper tone highlighter. Now, the second color is called Booming, which is definitely a little goes a long way. This was definitely Booming. But don't worry, I will take a, a fluffy face brush just to wipe away any of the excess of that powder to give me more of a natural highlight. And I'm just using it on my forehead and I'm using that shade again, Pose. Lipstick. I'm using Ooh, which is a matte coral lipstick. This is a beautiful coral uh, matte lipstick. And to add a topper on, I'm using uh, the other, it's a lip gloss called Me Freak. And I prefer using a lip pencil instead of the applicator that, that came with the a lip gloss because for some reason it takes away products instead of adding. So I use a lip pencil just to describe the lip gloss. To set everything into place, I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And guys, this completes the look. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.